December 28th, 2019. Uh, a last monthly automated tournament of that year. And it's probably one of the most memorable tournaments that I've ever participated in. Why? Nani? Well, that's what I'm going to be telling you today. But first, how's it going guys? It's Kiba here. If you like Guild Wars 2 or MMOs in general, and you want to see more MMO content, PvP, stories, or guides, then please subscribe to the channel because that's what we do here on this channel. And while you're here, please consider hitting that like button. It really helps the algorithm, so if you want to, it's free, but no one's, no one's forcing you. So let's get back to it. A couple days before the tournament, I was forming a team with some of my friends, General Jenkins, Lubu, Devotius, and Unholy. So these are the four, including myself, that were a part of this team. Now there was really no expectations for us because four out of the five members were hard stuck on a specific class. Profession, even, as you would know, Jenkins doesn't want to leave Firebrand. But what we did have that no one else did was a crazy plan. I have part of a plan. So let's get to the day of the tournament. Day of the tournament comes around and we get through most of the teams and games relatively easily. Just fly on right into the main bracket where our first match was going to be in the quarterfinals. And we haven't really unleashed our final form yet, but this was where we were getting a start, letting everyone see it. The furthest I've ever made it to at this point in time was quarterfinals. None of my teams have ever been good enough to beat any other team out there, so semis just wasn't something that we do. But we had a plan this time, so we were going to make it. And our plan was to really go back in time and start using Reapers with portals. That was pretty much what we did. We were just winning the team fights, we would portal to a node, win that fight, portal back, win that fight. So it allowed us to out rotate even though we didn't have a thief at all in the, in the, in the game. So when quarterfinals comes around, everyone thought it was going to be a good game. You know, we used our 2019 strat at the time and we ended up winning 500 to 200. So quite comfortably, we we're all hyped. It was the first time I've ever made it to semis. So as we're going into, we go into the semifinals. And now this is where we're facing Grimjack's team. And they have a really good roster, including some other monthly winners, such as Xenius and Mer. It was a pretty stacked team and our team was Honestly, on a skill level, maybe just a little bit worse off. I ended up playing Hollow in that game because Hollow Smith at the time was very user friendly, and it would have made it it made it a lot easier for us to be able to win the team fights when I could just hold two or three people without losing any HP. So we're definitely ready to win this game. That is until Evo let us know that. He had Berserker Amulet while he was using a condition build. So, needless to say, even with uh, that little hiccup, we're up 300 points to about 120 points, give or take. And being so caught in the moment, I didn't even realize how much the point spread was. There was people in Twitch chat as casters were going through saying, oh man, he was getting to get the winner crown and I didn't really know about that until after the fact, but we also just learned that USA had lost their game. So it was pretty much a free game to the finals. And we're almost there, we're about to punch our ticket. And then what ended up happening is we kind of got lazy. And next thing you know, we had no nodes. The enemy team was getting the hammer buff. We started feeding into hammer just so we could keep our one point secure towards the end of the game. Now. We're still winning at this point, but we're holding on by a thread. Everything happened so fast, and 
by the time the game was over, I looked up at the score and the score final was 500 to 493, which means we lost by seven points. <sighs> but in conclusion, Grimjack's team ended up going to win the map, the monthly automated tournament that is, and getting the winner crown that year. The team that they ended up playing against, they ended up beating them like 200 to 500 or something. So that really built a strong case that if we were to beat that team, we probably would have won the monthly and have gotten a gizmo. I would have gotten a gizmo for the first time. So none of us will really quite forget that tournament. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully that will be a next time, because I plan on actually playing a little bit more competitively now. I'm going to start doing ranked games and playing in ATs, and you can see that on Twitch TV slash Kiva underscore. I'll still be uploading YouTube videos here as well, but Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays you'll see me on Twitch. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the Skill Wars 2 story, and let me know in the comments what you thought of my story, and if you think I have a chance of winning a gizmo next year. Take care.